all right hi everyone we are back here with the live of the week for oldscraps.com i'm glad to be back here with you now the fall started and kids are in school so i'm really glad to be here with you so if you receive old scraps newsletter you know that we have some new things at the store and we have some good things going on at the blog so i wanted to uh, update you and show some products here for you today at photoshop elements and some tips for you how to use them so let's get it started let me clean up the screen here so we are here at the website oscraps.com if you are new um, before we start it, I wanted to point out if you don't receive the newsletter, please do. You just go here to the top and sign up and you will receive usually two newsletters a week. So you are updated of all the uh, tutorials, news, especially the new releases that we have, you know, challenges. And also you can be highlighted at the newsletter. Um, Vicky, which is the owner of a scrap, she always pick and choose some layouts that are outstanding and we highlight them in the newsletter and we have a lot of inspiration for you so um, sign up if you don't receive the newsletter and always make sure you check your spam and especially on Google make sure you add that to your contacts so you don't um, stop receiving it so if you go here to the shop you click shop by date it's the best if you if you're not coming from the newsletter, because in the newsletter you have the straight link, you just go here, new arrivals, and let's click that. And we have some wonderful things here. So I cannot show everything in detail. You know, we want to go to the good stuff, but I'm going to say a highlight here. We have a new release for Anna Aspinas. We have some great things. I really loved her multimedia documents. Um, going to for sure shop that today. And she has some great photo blends, which are new. Also, I really loved this, a grunge text fragment from Vicky Robinson. Um, I love everything involving vintage and script. So you cannot go wrong with that. And also, like, let me just show you real quick. If you go down here, you can see a close up of them, how they look like. So very grungy is great for blending in your background. So we also, what else we have more? We have new templates from Soko. I think Soko is back. Everybody's coming back to the business here. Some word art from Anna Aspinas, a new artsy layer template, and a new kit. And we have, which I'm gonna show you in the tip today, some new masks from Lian Auzek. I want to show you how they come and the neat stuff that you can do mix and match in them. And we have some great papers here from Joyful Hearts. Just love her papers, some grungy papers. And also I want to point out here that we have a new designer, you guys know that, when she came in the store, I, I was on the summer break for the videos here, but we have on a whimsical adventure. She released this very great fall pack, really, really value, there's a lot of things here. So I advise you to go here on the detail images here. And I'm gonna show you today a little bit of the essence of fall because she has some great um, transfers. So, hi everybody that is joining in. Thanks for joining us. Very glad that you are here. Margot, Denise, thank you. So, we have a lot of things. Another thing that is going on, if you go here to the blog, so we have a new design spotlight, which is for Courtney, Courtney Designs. And I did a video also showing some techniques with her products. And then we have a challenge with a free template. And then we have a interview. And I'm going to show you a little bit today with the tips here today, the brushes that come in the solitude um, 
you know, kit that she has, which are this here. And you can see here, you can download the free template, participate in the challenge, participate in the challenge. There is so many ways for you to get products here and get to learn the designers and play with the community. I just saw this week a person that said that didn't know what challenge was and was new to challenge. So if you are new, you don't know. Challenges are what sometimes designers do. Um, they post a template or they post saying you have to do a layout with three pictures and you just play with it and they have some set of rules and everybody gets to play and you can win some prizes at the end. So it's very fun. So in order to go to the um, challenges, you just go here to forum, which you also, let me go to the main page here, right? Let's do the right way. So you can go here to the forum and then you have monthly challenges and you have the designer challenge. So all scraps also has a month challenges that the CT, the creative team does, but also each designer has their own challenges. So you can check that it's on this easy, part here challenges so we uh, streamline here for you so to make it easy for you okay so okay let's get it started here hello hello Perkins nice to have you here so I'm gonna change now to Photoshop elements just a second there we go so let me change my screen here. So I want to show you today. So I'm going to be working here with the masking it, as I said, from Lynn Alzik. And as I said, from the sense of fall from the um, On a Wisco Adventure. And the brushes from the Solitude uh, from Courtney Designs, as I showed you in the on the shop. So I started here uh, something, but I wanted to show you here. These uh, masks here, they are very interesting because what she did in the folder, she has the mask, they don't come together. She has four sets of masks and then she has four sets of frames. And as you can see, they are kind of transparent. So you can see better here. If you go here, you can see, let me click on the right layer. So I can move that. So the neat thing is that I don't have to use this with just this mask. I can change the mask, choose another one that she gave in the kit, or use another mask from Lynn Alzek, or use another mask from any other designer. So what we wanted to show you here is that, you know, our designers, the products can work together and you can create different things and different looks if you think, oh, I used all the four masks that come in this kit, it's going to be boring to use again. So mix and match things. And I think she did that really easy for you. So really, really clever. So I'm going to just now show you here. These are some transfers from the Essence of Fall from the On Wing Squad Adventure. So let's get it started. I have here the mask and I have here the frame and I have here a picture which I'm going to clip, create a clipping mask. I'm using Photoshop Elements. Hi, Ka Kathleen. I hope I'm saying right. Sorry if I'm saying wrong. Thanks for joining us. So I'm just creating a clipping mask and you click Option Alt and clip that. So look already how nice does it look. So I also want to point out that the background paper that I'm using is from the Solitude from Courtney Designs. So I'm using that. So now I'm going to just mix and match some transfers here from Anna Winsick Adventure. She has some nice transfers, grungy kind of looking and as you can see, we already create a whole different background here. I'm just dropping the transfers and resizing them. And this nice one here, which is a very fall, nice color. So this one, it's very similar here to the color of the picture, which was on purpose. 
So I'm just gonna resize and you can see it already blends really nicely. And of course you can build up from that. This is a quick tip. We don't wanna be here for half an hour. So I'm just showing you how you can get started with this. So now, just to give some more touch and see how you can use it, I loaded here already the Solitude brushes from Courtney Designs. As you can see here, I have everything loaded. If you don't know how to load on Photoshop Elements, you just go click here, brush, and then you go here to the menu, this menu on top here, and load brushes, okay? So she has some nice grungy splatters and things like that. So what I want to do, I love everything grungy. So if you wanna create, you see how nice it is? If you wanna create, just some marks on the page. I'm gonna create a new layer just above the paper background. And a tip I wanna give you, just pick some colors from your picture. So then everything's gonna go well together. So right now I pick that. And I'm actually using a mouse. Usually I use my walk on tablet, but just to show you if you don't have a walk on, that's no problem. As you can see, look at the difference that that gives as a grungy looking texture. Of course, if you think that is strong, you can reduce the opacity of the brush or you can reduce the opacity of the layer. So if I reduce the opacity of the brush now 40, 49%, you see how subtle it is. And you can actually extend here from the picture. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm brushing it behind the mask. Okay, so another new layer, let's grab another brush. And the reason why I start a new layer is because if you brush individual on each layer, later if you change your ideas, you can edit each individual brush stroke. Let's give some splashes just to end here. And I'm gonna pick a color here, maybe a green from the picture, from the trees here. Maybe one coming from here. And another splash, maybe on this side. Oh, you know what happened? My brush is still 49% opacity, so that's why. There you go. So then you have this green splashes there okay so i hope you guys enjoy and let me go back to the shop so again check out the bundles and uh check out the new stuff check the blog posts check out the tutorials that we have and I will see you guys next week. Sorry, I didn't um, uh, schedule this time, but I'll make sure to schedule for the next time so you guys know when I'm gonna be here and you can watch it later also. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and get creative this weekend. We can't wait to see what you create. Please post at the gallery. We really enjoy seeing all your creations. Thank you so much, guys.